think it was hard to hear the beginning of it. Yes, sir. Hey, can you close that door, Curry? Never separate a family, bruh. I love the way I love the way I said. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, actually, the group number took us all. This guy, he don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. Um, okay. No, no, you, I think you didn't even address that, and he went along with it, but I want to bring up the scripture to go along with what you're saying. Uh, so uh, I'll stop it, like, right around that part again. I'll play it a little bit right now. Okay. Chapter 3. He said, the That's actually in my heart. Uh, I want to see Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and one of those early gospels. But no, he said specifically, because uh, he was standing there for him, and his mom said, hey, you know, someone trying to get Jesus' attention. He said, well, um, who's my mother? Okay. Okay. All right, Matthew 10, 35. Let's see. Uh, there you go. Now, he said the word should not separate a family, right? That's what he said. All right. Well, is Jesus not the word? Jesus is the word, right? Mm. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. You know, a sword, it cuts and divides, right? It does. For I come to set a man at variance against his father. This is what hmm. Jesus said. And the daughter against her mother. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foe shall be they of his own household. Now this pimp, this pimp preacher went hmm. against the scripture, a pimp pastor, he not a preacher, he a pastor, a pimp pastor, said that the word is not going to divide a family. Well, Jesus says, no, a man's foe shall be they of his own household because he came not for peace, but to send a sword that divides the family. He that love a father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. That's what he says. You got to make a decision. So when your family says follow traditions, are you going to follow me, my word? Or are you going to follow traditions? And that pastor's following traditions. And he didn't love a son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. That that pastor is wrong. 
He's not worthy of Jesus. He's not worthy of the word. And he to take of not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He didn't say follow your mother or your father or your family traditions. He that find of his life shall lose it, and he that loses a life for my sake shall find it. All right, I just wanted to, that's one that was another one that he was off on. We can continue on. I just want to break break this guy down piece by piece. Free. Pimp stop, by pimp. Stop, uh, <laughs> let's stop on the next point. Amen. <laughs> He said, that's my sister, that's my brother. On the cross, on the cross. Then he killed John again. Whoop. He got his cross. Oh my God. What is he doing? He said, when he's been crucified, he's on the cross. He died for all of our sins. He wouldn't tell John to kill my mother. Whoop. 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 When he said that, I said, boy, that boy is slick. That boy is slick, boy. Cause I, you know, I probably you probably even weren't even familiar with that one. He was like, "What? Take care of my mother." Yeah. It sound good too. It sound right. <laughs> right, right. I wasn't fully aware. That's all. I was like, "What do you say? Take up the cross? Take up his cross or something?" I was like, "What do you come up?" I didn't know. He said, <laughs> "He said, take care of his mother." Now, yeah. all right. Now, what did Jesus say? Again, this is the word that he doesn't like. He this is the word that's dividing the family. So the word actually said this, when Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he said unto his mother, woman, he didn't call her mother. He called her woman. Behold thy son. He's calling John the woman's son when, she's not, when he's not her biological son. Then said he to the disciple, behold, thy mother she is not his biological mother he didn't say take care of my mother he said behold now your relationship is mother and son and from that hour the disciple took her onto his own home because now because jesus identified them as family now that disciples following the 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 what jesus said well jesus told them that earlier they just did not understand now it comes, now that he's on the cross, now it comes to understanding. So that's what we were looking at in Matthew 12. It says, while he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. So someone said, hey, man, Jesus, they're over there. Now, your mother and your brother standing right there. They want to talk to you. So what did Jesus do? He didn't say, oh, okay, y'all, hold on. I got to go. This is my family. I got to go talk to them and leave you guys. No, what did Jesus do? He said, but he answered and said unto them, unto that, unto him that told him, who is my mother? <laughs> and who are my brethren? It's not them. <laughs> See that? And yeah. he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, behold, my mother and my brethren see that so the the followers and believers was she following him no she wasn't was his brother following him no he wasn't or all his brethren his disciples were his family then he left them to to do his ministry and guess what he picked out his disciples who he would choose to follow him for whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. So he called her woman. He didn't call her mother. You're wrong again, pimp pastor. If you got a problem with it, face me like a man. All right, let's go on to the next one. Please send this to your mother. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Biological mother. What a lie. Really? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let me finish that lie. You told him right. Right. 
Where is he? What, mm -hmm. uh, I, what did he say? It was hard to, to hear him. Let me repeat it again. Um, let me go back like 20 seconds or so. Okay. Right, you said as as a children you honor, but once you're a man, you're supposed to honor all men. And then he counteracted that with his lie and said, "No, he said um, I'm a child to my mother, even as an adult, I still have to honor her." Now that is wrong. Let me show you in scripture. It's very clear that he says, "Children, not men or women. Children, obey your parents." As a man, you are not to obey your parents. You're running your household. So if your mother says, well, you know what? I don't think your kids should be doing this or going to this school or whatever. You don't obey your mother. You say, mom, I'm the father of these kids. I'm going to, I'm going to train them up in the way they should go. I'm making the decision for my wife and my children. Thank you. I love you. But I'm making the decision. I will not obey your command. That's what you say. You don't obey your parents. You're not a child anymore. See, children obey your parents in the Lord, for if this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment, with promise. That promise was to mm -hmm. the children, not to the man, that, in, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye, and ye fathers provoke not your children to wrath. So as parents, we're not supposed, uh, especially fathers, not to provoke our children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. What This is saying bring them up. If you're an adult, you're already brought up. See, so this is dealing with children. This is not dealing with, with, with uh, manhood or womanhood. And once you become a man in the legal age of man in the United States is 18. So we're supposed to honor Let's see. Where's that at? It's in 1 Peter or 2 Peter. I forget where it's at. Let me go here. 2 Peter. Right here. It says, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake. So now you're talking to men. What we're supposed to do as men. So we're supposed to submit ourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors. So our government, we're not under a king. And if you're in the UK, you're under king or queen. Uh, but we're under governors. And so we have governors that govern our, our, na our nation. We have governors that govern our state. We have governors that govern our, our, um, you know, our cities you know, and our uh, counties. So we should follow all of the governing laws of our of of our na nation, and that's what it's all about. We don't follow the laws of our parents anymore. We're in manhood, as unto them that are sent by him for for the punishment of evil doers, and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the well doing. I mean, so is the will of God that with well doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. So there you go. We should, we're going to put to silence because they're going to say, ah, he's preaching this stuff and not walking that. So we should go ahead and walk the walk and exemplify what a true citizen of America should be or citizen of whatever nation you are should be and what a true uh, citizen of your community should be. So we put away foolish men, uh, the, the silence of foolish men, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God, honor all men. And then say, honor your parents. Honor all men. Don't put, God is not a respecter of persons. Neither should you. Your mother is not more important than the bum on the street. Not, not before God. And it shouldn't be before you. Love the brotherhood. It wasn't before Jesus. He said, who is my mother and my brother? He called a woman. See, love the brotherhood. We're supposed to love the brotherhood. Then say, love your parents. Fear God. Honor the king. We are with the King James Bible. 
So is and then it says servants be subject to your masters. We're called we're servants. We're we we change the word to employees, but employees serve your masters, your bosses. We change the word masters to bosses. So um, you don't see employees or bosses in, in the scripture, and so that's what it says. Not slaves, not only the good and gentle, but also the forward, and that's what it's saying. So as an adult, we're supposed to put away childish things, and that's what Paul said. Right here, Paul was saying, when I was a child, you see, it's a time period that you're a child, and that time period ends. When I was a child, I spake as a child. See, children obey your parents. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But, see the difference? But when I what? Became a man. You become an adult at 18. So when you became 18 in America, or when you, it's not in terms of your maturity, it's an age thing. So when you become 18, I put, now the maturity comes in. Once you become that man, you need to recognize and then mature, and I put away childish things. Leave the house. <laughs> put away childish things. Put away your obedience to your parents. Now your own man, make decisions for your own life. No, he's wrong. You're not to always obey your parents. Show me one scripture that says men obey your parents. That's not there. He's wrong again. The pimp pastor has been corrected again. Amen. Here we go. From the right track. I don't, and, and the king didn't have a confidence that he brought me that Jesus died all over again. Well, he was very. God, I, I, Amen. He messed up. He was cold out to me. First, uh, it's like he was, he was looking at me very, he was living so God. Go ahead and say, that's what you have to believe. Well, that, that, and, and so should that hurt? Who really did? I don't know. Um, do you believe in the salvation? Let me just say this. We talked about this before. The answer is the how he was going to be the day before. If God gives you a gift of temper, you can do that. He's not going to make you try to get that. <laughs> Using no scripture, talk about a car. I, I know what you're saying, but I just scripture says says something different. I think it does. It definitely does say something different. What well, What did he say? It was hard. So he believes you can lose salvation. Pretty much. Let me play. It, let me play a little bit. It was hard. Yeah, play it a little bit further. It's kind of hard to hear the conversation. I can hear you, Sorry. but you stand in your ground, amen. Very. I don't know what you say. I don't know what you say. I don't know what you say. I Jump in on something. I heard him say, "If I if he gave you the keys to the kingdom, he's not going to make you keep the gift." Right. So he's saying that you, so you, you can get rid of the gift and walk away from the keys of the kingdom. You can lose your salvation if you walk away. Yeah. yeah what he said exactly was, well, if I bring the keys back, he's not going to make me give like keep the gift, but the gift is available <laughs> if I want to come back for it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> This dude, this dude, this dude is a pimp pastor. Ephesians two, man. Ephesians two. Yes. 
right here. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us. It's not about us. It said he loved us. Even when we were what? Dead in sins. We didn't want the keys. Even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Christ. By grace are you saved. It's not by you accepting it. <laughs> and have raised us up together. And guess what? Made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. It wasn't a suggestion. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, hey, this is your choice. He made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace, not our ability to accept his grace. No, his grace, because he made us in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace he is saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. So he made us sit in the heavenly places. And we don't have a choice about it. Once we believe, we, we receive that eternal life, whether you like it or not. It's God yours. Is making us sit down. <laughs> sit down, you believer. Down. I'm about to bless you. I'm going to bless you, bless you. I'm I'm gonna bless you forever. I'm going to show you my grace. Oh, you just go sit, tell us to sit down at his, next to his throne, just like he told me to sit down at the end of the conversation. What? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he told you to sit down. You got some time? Right. Sit down. Yeah, I got a lot of time. <laughs> sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Man, no, that's powerful. It, 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 the word is there and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Wow. 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 I, I gave him this, and this was this is what made him make me uh, sit down, right? I know you I'm ended like, this strong. Go ahead. You know, it's, 50, it's like 55 seconds left. I'm going to just play it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I try to give them the truth. Yeah, because from 2 Timothy 2.13, is we believe God, yet he abides faithfully. Amen. He cannot deny himself. So, other songs we believe, like, see, if you believe in him, you're absolutely right. You have to abide faithfully. Now, to abide means you got to be in Yeah, you see how, no, 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 no. He's trying to put it back like it's not talking about God or something. Oh, we got to stay faithful. No. See, if we believe he he's not getting it, like you said, he he's not spiritually discerning the scriptures. I have to tell him like, nah, bro, listen, he's not saved. As a believer, so we know he is not saved. He's never been saved. So that's why I say he can't deny himself. He says he's alone. He can't deny himself. Why do you blaspheme saying that 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 that? I love that part. How much time you had? Sit down, sit down. He couldn't even, he didn't know he was going to say blasphemy. Where did blasphemy come in at? That's what I said. Where did he say, the part of blasphemy? What? Yeah, he was. I wish I wish you had more of that call, that talk with him, man, because we would have been dissecting this dude left and right. No, he's wrong. You were right, man. God bless you, man. Stand strong. Don't waver, man. Stand by the word of God. This dude is 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 false. He he's sending people to hell with that false lie that he's preaching. You cannot lose salvation. God is the one that makes us sit together in heavenly places. Um, talk about the keys to the kingdom. Who's the one that has the keys? Jesus has the keys, not us. He's not giving us the keys to the kingdom. Amen. Dude, man, it says. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Jesus has that. Not this pimp pastor. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whosoever 
and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. He's talking to, he says, and I, and I say un, also unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, and I will give unto thee, Peter, the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be, be loosed in heaven. Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. So, I'm sorry, you're not Peter, pimp pastor, and you're not Jesus. Yeah, because he pretty much told me, I, I, like I said, I wish I had more of the audio because I could have had a lot more, but it's all good. I think enough was, was heard to pretty, much, to pretty much get the gist because, again, he didn't walk away from the conversation changed. He walked away from the conversation the same way he came into it. So I hope you but, preached um, the gospel to him. Were you able to preach the gospel to him? Um, I, I believe I went over what the actual gospel was again. Honestly, I don't, I don't know if I covered it the way I needed to cover it. Yeah, I, don't I, would, I, have preached, I would have preached it to him because he needs to hear the gospel. Yeah. So, definitely. But um, I hope your mother realized that this guy is off, way off, and we only had a, a five-minute dissect of what he said um right. and uh i wish we could have you said you talked with him for a whole hour man we I would I, we would do a whole study on that thing man and eat him up yeah. eat him up yeah he's lucky i did he, he's honestly lucky i didn't like for, like right when i decided to go my phone wasn't charging and i had to leave right in and there the way i was feeling so it was meant that i only had a certain amount of battery to get what I got, I'm telling you, it was it was God's plan, I think. But uh, like my mom, I'm gonna leave her on her text. I'm gonna leave her text read. Why, why are you texting me? Did you record a pastor? Are you talking? <laughs> oh yes, I did. I mean, what do you mean? Check it out. Check out the recording and, and our response. Yeah. <laughs> right. I know. I, I want to figure out how to send that because I don't. I don't think she's on Facebook. Uh, the YouTube link, of which she's not going to listen to this whole video. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I could probably, I'll find a way to cut it or something. I don't know. I got some creative ways to. Oh, you, oh, you could do a response. You can edit. I mean, you can do a video on yeah, it with those that same scriptures and just do it. Oh, yeah. She'll probably listen to you than listen like, to me. <laughs> I like your response better. <laughs> <laughs> I like your dust better. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, know, like yeah, the <laughs> I know, because I could definitely go back on the video and just be like, all right, I'm going to do it the same now. I like the way you do it. Well, you, you should have, you, you probably should have heard me and saw me when I first saw the video. I was I was like, what? Man. I would over here like, man, this dude is wrong. It just spur stirs up your spirit, like uh, Zach was saying earlier, man. I don't know, man. It, I used to watch this show on TV called uh, uh, Ask the Pastor. And my wife would be like, your favorite show on TV? Because every time it would just stir up my spirit. And I'd be like, they got that wrong. They got that wrong. And I'd just be like, and she'd be like, yep. your favorite." But, you know, after a while I said, man, let me stop watching stuff because it's only getting me upset. <laughs> you know, because these guys, and then it would be a pastor from every denomination about about four or five of them sitting on the panel answering questions that are written and then also people calling in. And I'd be like, man, how could they? And it's like, and these people are believing this stuff. And they they would rarely quote scripture. They would do like this guy, give examples. Say you had a key. And I was like, man, it would just stir up my spirit. And so, you know, but I, I was kind of like my little exercise or whatever, but I don't watch this stuff. I turn off TV. That's, TV. So the only thing I watch on TV now is sports. You know, I still I can't get rid of that. I'm an athlete at heart. I play sports all my life. So and there's nothing too compromising there. They don't say God's name in vain. So I'm okay with that. Some people don't like the brutality of it, but guess what? Uh there was uh, God was there's a lot of bloodshed in scripture. So I mean God don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with it either. The God killed people. So you know, y'all can be all sensitive all you want to, but you know, Paul would never like that. I mean, he he was he was disputing with people. He ran races. Jesus, you know, commissioned the death of people. God kills people, so that's just the reality of it. So it's not too brutal for me. I watch boxing any day. But anyway, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. 
Nah, keep on, man. You gotta <laughs> shut the show. You gotta sh- shut yourself up. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you good, brother? I like boxing too. I'm trying to learn some of uh, some of them Bobby Leaves <laughs> from Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got um, a question. Got so, on while we're studying. Um, does um, like let's say I'm I'm trying to move and like get a house or something, right? Does Jesus, does he discern in our heart kind of like, don't, don't do it or, or does he do anything like that? Is that true or not true? But you, you know what I'm saying? Does he like kind of like, put it on your heart to be like, don't, don't get this house or like, don't. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, uh, like, like you, it's not a blessing from him or I it is it. a blessing from him. Yeah, see, I've heard people use that in both, I guess, uh, perspectives. Like, oh, the Lord said, this is mine. And, you know, like... <laughs> yeah, that was just for... Just... Dale, you want to answer that? Like, this be help you. Uh, <laughs> I'm going uh, to unmute. Well, yeah. unmute. Uh, you can't unmute. <laughs> I'll, uh... What are the scriptures? He directs. Hold on. He directs. Well, it says all things work out for the good for those that believe. So pray about it. Proverbs. Yeah, but when, like, when you pray about it, does does he put it on your heart? Does he? You can ask him to. He said, "Ask anything of his will," and there's a scripture about that. I don't want to totally. Bombs. So that then, so yeah, for his children, he can he will help us make the right decisions, also in our like in our decision making for this life. This is what it says. It says, "Trust in the Lord." Proverbs three five. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So you, okay. are you acknowledging him in, in everything you do? Yeah. All right. Are right, you, but that friend? means that means everything. Not, but that that doesn't mean in your your walk of faith and doing his work, right? That's in everything in life. It says, "In all thy ways acknowledge him, okay. and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes; fear the Lord." Depart from evil. So yeah, he'll let you know then. Like, and according, heart, like, hey, this and is according to the scripture, I know a lot of people aren't going to like this one. Romans. We just finished chapter three tonight. Hey, Me and the help brother. Me. Awesome. <laughs> Good job. I, I, did, I did a joke. You helped me. Man, Amen. Help me. Amen. <laughs> the woman. Amen. Yep. All right. So in Romans 13, 8. What does it say here? Oh, no, man. Any. Yeah, you want to pull up? Um, are we in the call? Let me, I got it up on the screen here. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I don't think. Am I out of the call? No, you're here. I don't see. Hold on. It doesn't let me get back into the screen. That's weird. It says couldn't join call. Hmm. Are you on your device? Yeah, I'm on my phone. Do you have the top menu? Can you see the icon where it says ongoing call? Oh, yeah, there we go. 
Okay, cool. Click on that. I'm back. In. All right, so go ahead, pull up the scripture. Don't All right, cool. I got you. Romans 13, 8. Okay, go ahead and read it. Oh, no man anything, but to love one another. For he that loveth another has fulfilled the law. Oh, no man So, were you going to buy your house? No, actually, no. All right. So, I know that's what uh, Kale believes, yeah, is that we shouldn't owe, you know, yeah, that's just the choice he made. I think he rents. I mean, the interest rates these days aren't so bad, but, yeah, it never speaks about um, owing people uh, money is a good thing. No, yeah, I know that. That's true. But, I, I mean, I could pray for for a down payment, you know. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that, that's the only thing. But yeah, it's just uh, instead of renting an apartment, I think I'd rather rent a house. It's only like a little bit more. And I got three teams. I'll probably buy a house next year. Okay. So my wife and I, we were interested in buying a house, and that we recently doing started doing some thinking and studying on finances. We've actually made a decision that we're not going to um, get a mortgage on a home um, necessarily. So we're talking about putting away all our money first and buying the house with cash and renting until that time comes. Right. So Proverbs twenty seven. So is is renting the same as owing a man? It is, right? Renting is what? Renting that that's the same as owing a man, right? No. No, you don't owe him anything. You pay up month front. To month. You actually pay up front. Every month. Oh you're right. Yeah. You're he right. actually is there to serve you. Oh, you so I'm doing good, the landlord, right? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. That's, that's, that's really good. Right there. You're right. So we're... We're right now slaying our debt. At the same the time, student. though, if, if if you can't afford to keep the house any longer, you can sell it and make the money back. And yep. still have the money back. But it's, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. But we're going to, we're going to, we're going to have to carry on this debt. We have a good chunk of debt we have to take down. That's why we're moving up north. And we got an opportunity to really attack this debt. And uh, we're going to take that, you know, what is kind of a curse, this debt with her with her student loan for her nursing degree. You're going to go gonna farther gonna north? In, we're going to go, yeah, further north. I don't know if there's such a thing. You're right? going to be at the North Pole or what? <laughs> there's going to be polar bears there. I'll tell you that. Yep. I mean, hey, what, is, four, what is a hired house? Is that uh, a renter rent. house? Yeah, where is that? Well, scripture. So, uh, Kel has a, on his. And Paul yeah. dwelt two years in his own hired house and received all that came in unto him. That means he, he was saving, right? And received. No, he, he received all that came unto him. I think that was. Uh... Let me see. Hold on. Like, uh, like, uh, uh, like people? Yeah, all. Wait, let me all read it. Came in unto him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching those with concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, no man forbidding him. Yeah. So he, he received those people because they were listening to the doctrine. They were listening to the gospel. They were listening to yeah. the word. Church in the hired house. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, so we, we were going to rush in and buy a house, um, but then this opportunity to go up north came up, came up. And so we're going to rent, rent, rent. 
and we're going to save, save, save. So we're going to pay down the debt. We got a lot of debt to pay down. We're planning to have that debt paid off by next February. And we're going to take that same approach after that. You know, oh man! So, five so grand, we're going to pay like that, huh? We're going to be <laughs> paying like four or five grand down a month on debt. So once we get out of that, guess yeah. what? That's kind of like four, a really good we idea. Four, we get a four or five thousand dollar raise when we pay that debt down. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put it away, put it away, put it away. And then you don't have to pay interest, free money given away. You don't that have to give have, away free money. Well, then we're not a slave anymore, right? We we take that charge. Right. We're going to rent the home that we want to rent. And and when we decide yeah. we want to buy a house, if that ever happens, we want to buy it with money. Yeah, that's 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 uh, a really good idea. Look at the look at the the world we live in now with all this debt in this country. In this in this uh, no, that's what this country is, man. Yeah. There's me. Yeah. So interest rates aren't too bad these days, but I'm not saying don't don't go do it. But I just want to follow the scripture when we're gonna follow no, the scripture. I mean, that, that actually sounds really good. Yeah, you can actually. Pick the house you want to rent, just rent it while you save and do your stuff and don't pay interest and give extra money away for free just to owe somebody and be a slave unto them. Yeah, he, he not, actually, you get to call him and say, hey, buddy, my pipes are leaking. I need someone to come fix this. Yeah, you, know what I mean? you don't have to worry about doing that. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You can get renter's insurance if you have lots of, like, you know, you have possessions that you want to get covered. You don't have to pay tax. Um, yeah. yeah, you don't have to pay your taxes on that home either. Yeah, because the rent. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Yeah. Well, let's say, yeah, the scripture's saying uh, save. So, hey, talk it over with your wife. Look at the scriptures. Pray yeah, on it, right? That. Acknowledge yeah. it in all things. Yeah, and, and once we start doing things God with God's way, you'll see that it, it, it'll come to you, and you have a choice. He's gonna open those doors, some of those doors, and keep, keep some doors closed for a reason. Right. So if just, stuff just so happens to start working out like perfectly, mm -hmm. then you know he's kind of saying like, "Hey, okay, this is a good way to go." Mm -hmm. Uh, and you know what? Uh, I'll, I'll give you that. I don't know if you heard this testimony before, but I was looking for a job for two or three months. And I couldn't really find anything. And then finally, we had a call for a job down the street. He said, this guy just quit. He walked out. And you wow. come in. And he'd been there for a, couple, for a year or two. Good worker. And all the other jobs, I got shut down. It was, it was, I didn't understand. How did I, how did these jobs get closed off for me? There's no reason for it. I was a prime candidate. Yeah. Like I killed my interview. Was I overqualified? What's the deal? This and is just a day of dying. Yeah, this was just recently. Okay. It's only been two months. So yeah, that was, was um, everything for the good. But for get this, it, it gets even deeper. I had showed up there once before, actually, just this, this job is an old friend of mine. She's not saved. But I showed up there a few weeks prior to that. That's how I got in contact with her, and I helped out. And I saw that cook, and I didn't preach him the gospel. Anyways, I get to show up to that to my first shift because I took this guy's job basically. And she says, "Yeah, so he won't be coming back." I says, "Oh, why not?" He says, "Well, he's killed himself." And we know who God um, allows. You know, God. God is the one that kills. Yeah. So that just shook shook the core of my foundation of what I'm doing with oh, my life. Man. And I'm thinking, man, I'm here for a reason right now. And I had an opportunity oh, to preach that gospel to that man, and I didn't. But he heard it. No, I, I had an opportunity. I didn't take it. I didn't do it. Yeah, but he heard it. If, oh, if and he died. yeah, agree, agree. Agree, but he didn't hear it from me, and I, I you know what, I'm going to have to answer for that. But... Because of that, I I didn't turn back. That hit me. When I heard that, it was my first. I literally just started working again for the first time in two or three months. I'm literally putting myself to work. 
and this is what I hear as soon as I start work, man. I, my mind was racing. I was like, whoa, the Lord has his hand. The Lord has my, his hand in my life, and he does in, in all our lives. Mm -hmm. he'll, he'll show you. you know, he'll make that way for you. You'll know if you're in his will because you're going to be living according to his word. Okay. Don't be out of his will. Okay. You know, be there, be there, you know, in the home, reading your Bible daily with your family, making wise decisions, putting your family before ministry, making sure things are taken care of, provide for them. Rule your household, you know, be the leader. And you'll be blessed. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, no that problem, was really man. good. That was on my mind, so. Amen. Kale's really coached me a lot um, to when I first met my wife, to a lot of it. And he just he points to the scriptures every time. And he's been there as a as a brother and a friend, and um, I, I've learned a lot of wisdom from you know, Coach Kale, man. Um, it's just a blessing to have a friend like that, that that'll pick the call up at any time, and uh, you know, I can listen to him all I want, and do what he's what he's telling me to do, but the scriptures there to prove it all. And then when you start to put it into action, then the then you see and you start to have that faith. You're like, wow. This is no joke. Literally, no. just go according to the scripture, and you'll see. It won't be long. Don't compromise it. Yeah. yeah. And man, um, man, I just read something. I, I don't know if it was in Colossians or Romans about like uh, learning from. Like, like I was telling you, I was thinking of y'all as like big brothers, like big brothers, and uh, it didn't say that. It was like something. I don't know. That's pretty too much. Thing. Something about teaching the babes, and I think that's something. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, what did Jesus was talking to Peter. He was asking if he loves him, right? I don't think that's No, never mind. I don't think that's so. I'll find it one day. But, um, yeah. So. Yeah, so, yeah, it's all, it's all about managing your money, I guess, managing, managing your finances. Yeah. Uh, so don't let, don't, you don't want to be that slave. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you have a a really big down payment on the house, I mean, I, 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 I wouldn't recommend it. And just think, uh, I mean, that yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend it. But I mean, I always thought about that. But then it's like, well, you can resell the house and mm -hmm. possibly get it back. But then, what if your house goes down and what is worth? And then you, you, you end up owing the bank anyway, you know, because you, know, you don't have enough money to even keep the house fixed up. And it just seems like a big headache. Like you said, you can put that on them or just keep the money in the bank. That sounds like um, a good deal, I think. My biggest pet peeve, if you're going to... If you're going to borrow money for a car, especially like... A newer car where you go and spend twenty five thousand dollars on a car and you get a loan on it and you're paying down four or five hundred dollars a month on this car 
Mm. It's just ridiculous. The amount of interest yeah. you rack up, it's crazy. Yeah, it really is. It's crazy. And oh, and if you and if you don't have like a twenty percent down payment on the house, they actually make you buy insurance on that down payment. Or it's oh crazy. yeah, you're I mean, right. You're paying like a hundred bucks a month just for this insurance. Oh man, it's so man with the car payments though, people are paying five hundred bucks a month on their car for the rest of their life. With that money, do you know how rich you'd be when you were you know, later on in life, yeah. how much you had if you invested it? Man. Yeah, I mean. Just give me an 89 Honda Civic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, but you, save that mu- you save up some money, then you buy the car. That's, yeah. I mean, that's how I want to live my life. I don't no, yeah, I, you're right, man. I, I don't have a credit card. God, I, don't like right. borrowing, I don't like borrowing money. You know, there's two occasions I bought I borrowed money in the last while. I, about six years ago, seven years ago, I borrowed money for a car. It was like $3,000. Paid it off in two years. I borrowed money for my wife's engagement ring, and I paid it off as soon as I got my tax return. Done. That was the one thing I was willing to go out on a limb and, and, and borrow money for. It wasn't long, though. No. It's only a couple months. Yeah, I'm going to have to go buy a new ring for me. Oh, yeah? I got one. Yeah, I have one that has a scripture on it that's like wrapped, like, uh, and printed in on it, going all the way around, and I don't think it's King James version, so I'm gonna have okay. to throw it away and get a new ring. Oh, is it made of gold? Nah. Okay. Nah, it was just a uh, stainless steel, so it's nothing. Is it like your? Uh, I don't need band? gold and all that personally. I don't really care about that. Yeah. Is that your wedding band or? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. yeah but I'm sure I can find something else to so. My my wedding bed was uh, very very affordable, and I told her that I said, "Look, we don't have the money. Just give me whatever, as long as it looks good." Yeah. Don't need the gold. As long as they know I'm married. And yeah, exactly. Stay away. I love my ring. <laughs> it's awesome. It fits like a glove, man. Yeah, that's perfect. Awesome. It's comfy. But yeah. Any more uh, questions regarding scripture? Anybody else got anything? I guess that guy isn't showing up. Said he'd be here. Where's Vicky? Where's that dude? Yep. Oh, didn't you have a guy earlier that you were talking to? Myself or Zach? Oh no, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Bjorn. Because didn't you you were gonna like simulcast him on Facebook or on your phone or something? Yeah, we had him. Oh, here's looks like Victor's typing right now. Is that Victor, or is that the, a different guy that you had earlier? I don't know, but it's somebody. <laughs> Muffin, we see Miss Muffin. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Nelson Muffin. Oh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you busted, man. You busted. <laughs> 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 you should instead of doing full screen, you should just do the app. Yeah, it glitches on me. Oh, okay. Remember how it goes black screen? It's black screen now. Oh no, I mean it's got like, your picture on there. It, it, it'll like flicker. It doesn't do that when I use the. Uh, yeah, that is true. The share screen. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah I was that, just, uh, are you the blueberry muffin? <laughs> okay. <good. laughs> oh, man. That guy, um, he, uh, yeah, we talked on, we spoke on Facebook. And, uh, yeah, he hung around for a little while, but I guess he got tired. At, by the end of it, he was confessing it, but he looked like he was trying to, like, dig into his head to remember what I preached to him. Yeah. Like, he seems really very, like, lukewarm about it. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll see. All you can do is preach, you know. 
Why yeah, you last that's night? the thing too. What you did you last just, night? That lady you posted a comment on Facebook asking, "Do you believe a, 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 a Christian can lose their salvation?" So to see what people are saying. So I don't know. Hopefully she, uh, or she may just be filling it out so she can uh, uh, preach the gospel to people. But she posted that uh, last night. The lady you talked to, or this morning. She posted that to Facebook. Yeah. That's how I found her, was on, or she found me on Facebook, and I see her Facebook post. Let me go to it, actually. I can see if it's I just messaged back. I was like, Victor, you coming in? Yeah. Good evening, sir. Just got back from work. That's so good. He's going to come in. All right. Oh, yeah. She put it in red. Let me see if I can share my cool. screen. I, I don't want to be staying up and not be able to um, come on. Oh uh, yeah, you need to hurry up. So you can see her <laughs> post right there. Is that Jamie, Jake, whatever? It's Christian brothers and sisters. May I ask a question to you all? Can a believer lose their salvation? She, so she got 148 comments off of that. We should start posting those things and getting people in that way too. You know, if you'd like to discuss this more, you know, join the link, you know, or something like that. But she got 148 comments on it. Hey. Wow, she must have been really into in it with with the so-called church people. Yeah, yeah. So, wow, what's her position? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let me see. Let me go to. It. So, without going off track into every other scripture, let me ask this because this scripture is commonly used by people that believe they are eternally saved forever, right? They quote this scripture, Ephesians 1 13. Wow, she's saying they. She's not. <laughs> Once so I don't know, maybe she's oh, playing man. advocate. I don't know. Once a person is born again, uh, does their free will go away? Good question. Let's find scripture for that. Christian Hutchins, Jamie. Thanks, Pastor, for sharing. I really appreciate you taking the time to explain it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Double-minded persons are staying all the way. No Can way. Can please just share the word of God for now, please? Uh, share what I feel in Jacob. Scripture, so when we look at Demas forsaking Paul, who is Demas? He didn't forsake God, God but rather Paul. Yeah! I'm saying Okay, okay, okay. What's a good title? What's a good title for this? Oh, the position. Luke, the love and position and Demas greet you. Oh, yeah. For Demas have forsaken me, having loved this present world, and has departed unto Thessalonica. That doesn't mean he lost his salvation. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Sorry. Good night. Good night. Yeah, have a good night. All right. Uh, they always race upstairs. I don't know what her position is on it. Last night it seemed like she said answer and said no. But here it seemed like she got some questions on it. I don't know. A few more comments. I would think her response would be like, you know, would you guys like to hear the gospel? You know, or something like that. Not can you lose it. That's the same thing she's been saying last night. Oh, let's see. She says here, brother, you preach it. Hallelujah. Okay, let's see what he said. She's responding. I believe that you cannot lose your salvation. These verses prove that John 6 30. Okay. Uh, the church in Philippi, Paul said he had confidence not, and he knew for sure. Ooh, who is she saying, brother, you preach it to? Is she saying it to this guy, Jason, or to Bernard? She said, hallelujah, not hallelujah. Anyway, can I give you a big hug and a super big high five? Oh, she's talking to Jason. He said, he said yes, sir. Wow, man. I don't know. Oh, we got a new one in. Victor's in. Okay. But she doesn't look like she believes, man. So don't fall for the okie doke. But you did some great wow. preaching, definitely, man. That's Wow. Man. I don't know, man. Now I'm... Now I'm uh... Second guessing my approach. No, no. I mean, you did some great preaching. All you can do is preach the gospel. You can't help it that she doesn't. She's a liar. But the couple from last night. Yep, that's the what? 
Yes, that's what I'm saying. Man, you, we stayed up so late. Oh, yeah, you was on that too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You, think you, you want to know that you're going to, we'll have a final number of how many hours we preach to unbelievers <laughs> one day. Yeah. And you're going to, then you can really get it in contact. <laughs> I can't believe she did that. Are you kidding me? Hey, that's why oh, I wanted to show man. you. I want y'all to think I was They wanted to come to your house, Bajorn. Really? He wanted to bring his kids. Dang. Yeah, he said he had eight kids. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh, man. Yeah. See, when she kept talking and talking and talking, so bad, I felt like devils were around when that happens, when oh. people just keep talking and Yep. Talking and talking and talking. Yep. Not around, it was in them. Or in, yeah. But man. You're going to have to switch broadcast, guys. Oh, you got to okay. go? You got to go? There's a new link. So we'll see you guys on the other side. All right. Oh, what does that mean? You created a new link, you said? There's a new link, guys. Yeah, Perez, you're gonna have to just back out. There's a new link now in the church chat group. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Thank you. Yep.